Father Nurgle, Lord of Plagues, hear me! Long have I worshipped you. Great are the deeds I have done in your name. I have performed your darkest rites. I have sacrificed the flesh of innocence in your name. Your pleas will avail you nothing, human. Nurgle has no pity for the defeated. It's over. Over? You blind fool. Chaos is eternal, and I am its champion. Tell that to Asavar Kul. Dead in the mud along with most of his followers outside the walls of Kislev. Another will rise to take Kul's place. The Harbinger has sought out the shattered pieces of his army and found a new champion to seek the favor of the Chaos Gods and assume mastery of the Horde. The Harbinger? Is that what the Sorceress calls herself? Where is she, Kessler? Tell me that and you may yet save your life. <laughs> Look at you, grasping at shadows. The Harbinger is far beyond your reach. And as for my life, it belongs to Nurgle, Lord of Pestilence and Decay. I give it to him freely in return. For vengeance. You have been deceived. <sighs> Sensed the greater demon force its way into our world and feared the worst. You have done well, young prince. I studied the greater demons during my time at the tower. The reality was worse than I ever imagined. The Eye of Argoth, where is it? Over there. Beware, witch hunter. It has an effect on the mind. 
Leave it to me. I'll make sure it doesn't tempt anyone else. What about the sorceress? Kessler called her the Harbinger. According to him, she's tracked down the remnants of Azovar Kul's army and is searching for a champion to lead it. Where is she, this Harbinger of Chaos? He did not say. Prague. Uh, what's that? My agents in the north tell me that a large part of Kul's army fled the Battle of Kislev and returned to the ruins of Prague. I'd assume they would take ship and return to the Chaos Wastes, but now that I've heard about this Harbinger, I'm not sure. Perhaps we might learn more there. But how? Prague is hundreds of leagues from here. We couldn't possibly make it there in time. Not so. There is a waystone near Prague that we can use. I can link to it from the stone here in Nuln and send you through. Meet me at the tower when you are ready to proceed. In the meantime, I will begin the rituals to open a pathway to Prague. You're of no particular interest to me, Uthgrim Redaxe. It's the Harbinger I want. Give her to me, and perhaps I will let you leave this accursed city. Weakling! I should have guessed that southern witch had you caught in her web. She thought she could bend me to her will with her gifts and her honeyed lies. As though I needed the help of a sorceress to win the Blood God's favor and lead us of our cool's horde. When Prague fell, I consecrated its streets with the blood of innocence. When the demons gathered to feast, I subjugated them and was exalted in the eyes of Korn. He gifted me with this axe to bring death and ruin upon the old world. I told the witch that if she stayed in Prague, I would hang her head from my belt. She has gone to the Forest of Knives to seek the champion of Slanish. Her pretty lies will serve her well there. Then it appears you have nothing left to bargain with. Fool. You think I fear death? I offer it freely as a gift to Korn. Blood for the Blood God!
a taste of... Leave the axe to me, elf. Do not touch it, lest you forfeit your soul. Ass against flames. Take it away, witch hunter. I want nothing to do with it. Your courage and skill have saved a great many lives, young prince. Othgrim Redaxe is dead, and his warband has been scattered. It will take many years, I suspect, but Gorchev and his people now have a real chance at rebuilding Prague. Perhaps, High Lore Master, but the Harbinger continues to elude us. She offered him the remnants of Azavar Kul's horde, the same as she did to Kessler. Radax threatened to hang her head from his belt, so she fled. He said she'd gone seeking the followers of Slanish in the Forest of Knives. I've never heard of such a place. I would not expect you to. It's an ancient place, deep in the frozen wilds of Norska. An elven city used to stand there, long before the coming of chaos. If the gods are with us, I may be able to open its waystone and allow us to travel there. There's one more thing. Arthgrim referred to the Harbinger as that southern witch. What do you suppose that means? From Arthgrim's perspective, Anyone not from the Chaos Wastes is a Southerner. If she's not from the Chaos Wastes, then she's of the Old World. Perhaps even a citizen of the Empire. It would explain how she was able to recruit Kessler and carry out the attack at Nuln. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. If she were from Nuln, the Witch Hunters would have found her and dealt with her long before she'd become a threat. We'll know the truth soon enough. For now, let's return to the forest. I must make preparations for the next phase of our journey. You have desecrated the sacred garden. And now you force your way into the presence of Slanesh itself. What is your desire? Speak, and the god may answer. I am not interested in your lies, Skraling. I'm here for the Harbinger. The sorceress? She is not here. But she is somewhere close. Oh yes, I can feel it. It was she who led me to this temple, where I claimed the Gauntlet of Torment and became a champion of Slanesh. Thanks to her, I will become the next Lord of Chaos and command the might of the Horde. She calls herself the Harbinger. But that isn't her name. Her real name is Elspeth Bale, and she was born in the city of Nolan. There is so much that you don't know. Even now, she watches from the shadows, winding you in her web. You want her? She can be yours. Offer yourself to Slanesh, and all things are possible. The Azur do not bend the knee to chaos. Better a clean death than a life in thrall to Slanish. As you wish.
the gauntlet is not for the likes of you, Elf. Only an iron will and a cold heart can resist its temptations. Let me deal with it. Take it away. I want nothing to do with it. Congratulations, my friend. I knew you could do it. I knew it from the moment I saw you. I sensed the battle with the demon and came as quickly as I could. You have done well, Elantir. An ancient and wicked spirit has been banished from the world. But what of the Harbinger? Where is she? She is close. Skraling could sense her, yet I cannot. Skraling was right. You should have taken his offer. Now it's too late. The old world will soon be mine. <laughs> By the gods! The Harbinger was right before my eyes, and I never sensed a thing. There was no way you could have known, young prince. The Harbinger is a sorceress of Zinch, the changer of ways, the most mercurial chaos god. Her powers are beyond mortal ken. Given time, I might have seen through her spell, but I was forced to remain with the Waystone. Perhaps she counted on that. But she led us to Skraling. Why? It doesn't make sense. Unless... What? It was Kessler who told us that the Harbinger was searching for a champion to lead Kull's horde. But what if that was a lie? What if she's been searching for these champions so she can eliminate her competition? And she's made us her assassins. Now her rivals are dead, and she has collected their relics. There is no one left to stop her now. Except for us. But how do we find her now? Skraling is dead and there is no trail for us to follow. There may be a way, but I dare not attempt it here. We must return to Nuln at once. Meet me at the Waystone when you are ready to depart, but make haste. I fear that Magnus has little time left. You! How is this possible? You said he couldn't follow us! I never thought he'd risk the Realm of Chaos, much less challenge Axarath. There may be more to this pompous elf than I thought. This is all because of Teclis! I told you he would be trouble! But Teclis isn't here, is he? Brother, you fret like an old fishwife. Everything is under control. Brother! But Skraling said... Skraling knew me as Helspeth Bale. But once upon a time, my name was Helspeth Voss. And I was a merchant's daughter in Nome. In those days, I wanted to be a scholar. But the university did not accept women. So, I chose a different path. And I was a very attentive student indeed. I grew powerful. And careless. It was only a matter of time before the witch hunters took notice. And who should catch me but my very own brother? If you could have seen the look on his face. That's enough. He knew he couldn't arrest me. Not without bringing suspicion onto the entire family. It would have ruined his precious ambitions. I said that's enough! My brother craves nothing so much as power, you see. That's why I knew he would agree to my plan. And what is his reward for helping you take command of the Horde? Her? <laughs> She doesn't want to lead the Horde. I'd rather rule from the shadows. Let someone else assume all the risks. So you mean to kill Magnus and put your brother on the throne? Don't be ridiculous. Magnus isn't going to die. He's the key to the entire plan. Once the spell has run its course, Magnus will rise again. It will be seen as a miracle. A sign of divine grace. The Elector Counts will rush to proclaim him Emperor. Never suspecting that his soul belongs to me. I will rule through Magnus, and the Empire will be plunged into a new age of horror and despair. So you see, I do not need a horde to conquer the old world. I just need one man. No, that... that's not right. You said I would be the next Chaos Lord. That was the point of stealing the relics. The horde was to be mine. That wasn't what I said, brother. That was what you chose to hear. You 
lied to me. Brother. I am the champion of the Dark Gods. Mine is the power, and mine alone! You witless fool! I'll show you power! so that I may have my revenge. After I've blown you to pieces, I'll turn this foundry into your tomb. <laughs>
The Empire owes you a great debt, my lord. You've saved the Imperial Gunnery School as well as countless innocent lives. I'll be sure to tell Magnus of your courage and skill. It was nothing, Master Falk. Do not trouble yourself on my account. Actually, it's Headmaster Falk now. With Rika dead, I've ordered the gates to be opened and the rest of the engineers to report for duty. We'll get the foundries back up and running in no time. Within a few days, it will be like none of this ever happened. And now, if you will excuse me, I have a great deal of work to do.